Hello, welcome back to the 22nd episode. Yeah, that's right, it's the 22nd one, again, also known as the 23rd. Of Lug's Play The Ultimate Doom. Uh, today we are doing E3 M6, uh, Mount Erebus. And uh, this level uh, leads us on to E3 M9, which is called the Warrens. So there's our secret exit is on here somewhere. Now, we're about a million monsters now, 126 monsters, pretty much all of which are cacodemons later on, which are right nightmare. But let's just see how we go. Nice and simple. Play it safe. Oh, good. Great, we start with Hell Knights. Brilliant. It's a lovely start. Now, there are cacodemon things bloody everywhere. On the floor, we've got to be super careful because we will try and sneak up on you. Get out of the way. Ooh. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. So I might be a little bit quicker at this level, purely because I have just recorded this. And then, ooh, and then uh, I actually got through it and missed one of the secrets. And I thought, no, you know what? I'm going to make sure that I get all the secrets, because that would be daft. Um, oh, God. That's the Hell Knight thing that's a problem, isn't it? It's pretty good, pretty good. Dodge it. Yeah, boy. Y'all don't come around here now, boy. Okie dokie. Right, I can hear lots of. Ooh! Told you to sneak up on you. On your level first day. Eh? <laughs> Die, for God's sake. Right, okay. Got them dead. See yourself out, that's fine. So, if I'm a little tiny bit quieter than usual, it's probably because I'm about as hungover as I could possibly be in all of life. Ooh. I think it's a Thursday for you guys, but for me, it's actually a Saturday where I should be working. Or I'm just I'm so sick of work at the minute. It's so wonderful, the students are always awesome. But, ugh. Just a long old whip bump. So yeah, if, I, if I'm a little bit quiet, I do apologise. But it's been, it's been a rough one, guys. It's been a real rough one. So I've just come to play some Doom to chill out, really. And try not to be scared shitless, which is going really well, obviously. Now, hopefully killed a lot of cock demons now. That's just good. Now what we can do is look for the next batch of them. Now, there's still another guy in there. Let's just drop down. Now, it's a scary bit. Oh yeah, that's how we were. Cool. Yeah, it was a lot of rounds, but at the same time, it's gonna stand us in good stead. That I'm gonna need that for one of the secrets later on, I think. So let's keep hold of it. <laughs> the secret that I hilariously missed. Ah, now over here. When you see this big platform, there are a hell of a lot of mobs on the next bit, so let's go up. That did a hell of a lot of damage. And let's switch back out. Okay. Okay, just take it slow. Whoa! I was a 
dodged a half, but it wasn't intended. <laughs> Yeah, you're on. Okie dokie. See? Another invincibility sphere. Which is awesome. Now, the actual exit's level is down there, but we need a blue key to do that. So let's just sprint up here. And the lava does like double damage. Where the hell's that? What's shooting at me? Ah, you did not dozy, you bugger. Uh, there's also some crap over there, which I'm actually am gonna go for. It does ruin you escape route back, unfortunately. <laughs> Not even with quite full armor. It's taken off 20% a tick. Which is a bit of a nightmare. So I'm going to try to stick around outside for as long as we can. Let's kill these ones. They're all behind us as well. We're going to get one shot and then we have to move. Whoop. So again, with this sort of stuff, because you're in a you're in a little bottleneck, you've got to keep moving, guys. So just keep moving left and right. Now, here we go. And I think by opening this door, we've actually let off a hell of a lot of monsters uh, outside. So we are going to take it nice and slow. Now, here we've got two secrets. We've got that secret and we got this secret. So let's go for here. Nice big energy pack. Loving it. A secret is revealed. Uh, we might need this later, so I'm going to leave it there. And then we've got this bit. Now, very important that early on you run and get this chainsaw, even though you don't need it, and then jump the hell away. Now again, with these guys, try and get them as close as you can, because then they can't actually hit you. Focus on okay. The rest of the peeps are dead. Um, I should we one of these? It was <laughs> fairly effective. See, now this is going away, so now this is actually a threat. We'll kill that, we'll sort that out. Nice quick. Let's go in here. Now, this one's going to basically open our exit. We sort of don't want that because currently the, the monsters can't get at us. Oh, wow! I just shot that one, Mr. Kakademon. This guy's getting too high. We're going to have to get out of here. So what we need is we need this to come down. Okay? So we do that by sprinting through here. Unpressing this button, if you will. Now, the only problem with being in there is, yes, okay, the Lost Souls can't get to you, therefore they are actually zero threat, is the Cacodemons are at like a perfect height to try and murder you, which is great. Whoa! I told you they were all bloody Cacodemons in this level. Again, key to this bit is you're on like a little island, you can see it. Um, just keep moving. Keep moving. Do not stop moving. If you stop moving, you will get caught and you will get shot. It's not often I get caught and sideswipe while I'm bloody cacodemons. I did my head in Again, if you can, make sure they're all in front of you. Now, I'm saying that, I'm just going to have to double check my six and make sure they really are all in front of me. Oh my, oh my supercharged, that's good. This part of it for a start. Oh shit, so I don't know what's behind me. That was a dodge. Oh, Christy, that kept me on my toes for a while, that. All right, not quite at full health, which is a bit annoying. Four armor, that's good. Right, okie doke. Now, all these little things always open up to reveal. Oh, shit. A load of monsters, is what I was going to say. Okay, just keep moving. I don't like it when you move. 
full run of them, apparently. <laughs> I'm just sprinting headlong at them. Okay, so here, it's nice and simple. Just learn these two guys. I don't think. No, not yet. When we drop down, we'll set that next bit off. So we'll drop down, we'll get this sort of stuff. Then, as you drop down, you've got your right and your left. Your left leads you to a shotgun, and your right leads you to the next secret. A secret is revealed! Now, I thought there'd be Cacodemons here. Oh, speak of the devil. How did this one just tank it? No damage. Of course it did no damage. It makes perfect sense. Okay. Now. Let's get our supercharge around here somewhere. Oh, I have super armor as well. Let's go and grab that and spin back across. Now, what you can't do is in the rad suit, it's all well and good, but you can't stay in the uh, lava permanently. It will actually end up hurting you, so you've just got to keep yourself moving. There's my supercharge. Okay. Now, I'm sprinting around here purely because these rad suits are few and far between, and we're going to need a lot of them. So let's quickly jump in here, and this time let's go left. Get our shotgun shells, everything's going to be fine. Now, next secret is over here. So, let's have a scan of route. Now, I think it's the last secret as well, right? Three out of four. Yes, last secret. Now, before we do that, let's just nip into here. Okay, so we've got this box out here full of horribleness. Let's find out. Now here it's not too bad because the Cacodemon literally can't hit you. Because even if you've got a perfect shot on it, it can't penetrate this little gap here, but you can still fire it. It's a short range weapon through it. So we get another one of our rad suits, which we're very happy with. And then around here, we get some shotgun shells, which is quite cool. Where are we on now? One, come on, go away. One, two, five, out, one, two, six. We're nearly there, right? So here we go, moment of truth. Okay, we're on nice armor and nice health. This is the bit. We're actually going to miss one of the mobs if we do it like this, though. So let's just double check and see if we can find the last mob. I think, I think, I think, I think it's over here. If you go through here, you get into this place. Ah. Right, that's the original exit. So it's not in there. Where's the last mob? I can't think where it could be. Oh. Where is it? There you are. Yay! Right, got all the mobs. Now I'm going to quickly run in here and get this. So, here we go. Weirdest secret on the game. Now we're going to grab our invulner invul uh, invulnerability sphere for this. I think this will work. Okay, wow. Go back to where the imps were on either side. And through. And then left through the teleporter. Now, on here you can see there's like a box with a switch in the middle of it. You can't run and jump into it. So what you do is you line yourself up, you get your rocket launcher out, and you fire at the wall. <laughs> a secret is revealed! Now that's a proper secret, okay? Proper secret, leads you into this box in the middle of nowhere, and you can press the button to reveal the exit. So, that was E3 M6 Mount Erebus and its secret exit. I think we've got 100, 100, 100, guys. I'm pretty certain. I'm pretty... Ah, oh, bollocks. <laughs> Never mind, though. At least we got 100% of the secrets. I'm pretty sure for that. That's cool. How long was it? About 12, 13? Oh. Oh, 14. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Anyway, that was uh, E3 M6. And uh, next Tuesday's episode will be E3 M9. The Warrens. Thanks for watching. Love you. Bye.